Hello folks, the weather feels like a heat wave, so uh, let's head over to the, the backyard and see what I've got going on here. <sighs> yeah, duck down. All right, I've got two rigs going tonight. Got both my surveillance cameras going on the ground there. And I can't wait to get started. The only problem is the moon. Where is it? it is at 72%. I'm not liking that. So we'll see how it goes. Okay. So even with the moon at 72%, I'm going after galaxies. And what I noticed in the past is that I can actually do broadband even with all my light pollution. Um, when the moon is up to about 80%, then it really starts to impact the data. So today is the last day, maybe for a while, I'm going to be able to do broadband. But I am going after M101, the pinwheel galaxy, with my Explorer Scientific Scope. And um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I think right now, since the moon is, is so bright, I'm going to use red. The filter red and HA, those both have the best light pollution protection for, for imaging with the moon out. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done galaxies, so I, I don't even remember how to process broadband. It's been so long, but I, I'm hoping for the best. Um, all right, well, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to go inside. Okay, I just cleared out my guiding. Let's see it fresh after a dither. And right now the tote RMS is 0.58. If it stays in that range the rest of the night, 0.61, I can live with that. I don't have any problem with that. I'll easily get round stars with this kind of guiding. 0.66, come on, don't go any higher. Of course, keep going higher. <laughs> Now nah, I think it's going to level off and stay in that range. Point, make me a liar. Okay, 0.7. Well, how high are you going to go? All right, 0.69. Um, here's, the, here's the satellite. It's supposed to be clear all night, but you can see I've got clouds that look like they're going to come up from the south, from the west. I'm right here on the map, but they're probably going to break up before they reach me. At least I hope. Um, and I've got two surveillance cameras out now. Oh, let's go to live view. Oops. And there, this is the one I'm making the video for today. Um, the Explorer Scientific, and right now it's pointing to M101 on the east side of the meridian. And it'll probably be there for a couple more hours before I have to do a meridian flip. And um, I'll be asleep by then, so I'll just hope for the best that everything goes um, automatic and smoothly. All right, let's take a look at my uh, capture session right now. Okay, so I had finished capturing the RGB data. I finished capturing the Optolong L-Pro data. And I use the L-Pro in place of a luminance filter to give me a little extra light pollution protection. And um, although the, the totals are all reset here, I, I captured a lot of subs. Because um, I capture a lot of subs because I'm only doing 30 second exposures for each of these. Um, and that's because of my, my light pollution is so severe that uh, I have to keep the exposures really short. Otherwise, I, I become overexposed. Um, I get a lot of noise. My ADU um, goes through the roof. And, uh, and I end up having a lot of files to stack. I'm easily going to have over a thousand files to stack when I'm done with this. Uh, that's the bad part about having to do short exposures. And for all of the the L Pro and the RGB data, for example, I'm I'm doing uh, gain 75, 15, and I don't like to go down to gain zero, even though that would let me go to a, a higher, a uh, longer exposure, at least a minute, because um, 
uh, I get vertical banding, and it's hard for me to remove that vertical banding. The, you know, banding gets worse and worse the lower you you go with gain, and it's really bad for me if I go down to gain zero. So 75 is the point I like to stay at. And um, right now I'm in the I'm on the last legs of this nebula, and I'm capturing um, HA on it so I can highlight all the nebulas in the Pinwheel Galaxy. So we'll see how this is going to look. And let me show you how oh, another sub is going to finish. Well, let's take a look at um, guiding is still at 0.84. So this is what I'm looking at, say, for example, red for, for M101. And you can sort of see the, the pinwheel is not a bright galaxy. It's, I think it's a tough one to work on. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough data. I'll probably finish with around five hours of LPRO data and maybe a couple hours each of RGB and then I don't know how much I'm going to capture for HA and I hope something comes up. We'll see. And I do have a, a dried water droplet. It's been on my center for a long time but since it's right on the edge um, I haven't bothered to clean it and it's not going anywhere so um, and, and I'm just going to crop that out. So I can't think of what else to share here, folks. I hope this turns out. It's going to take me a while to process. Probably take me all day to stack all these files. So um, that's all I got. And I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. looks like um, I had to reset all my totals. Well, I didn't have to. Something happened. I'm not sure what the... F